All right, hello everybody. Uh, this is part two of a three or four part series of uh, the best SHTF uh, home built repeater system. Um, so part one was uh, just explaining how the crossover cable here uh, works, but doesn't really work. So um, uh, feel free to check that out. It'll be uh, labeled as part one. Uh, so part two is uh, we're gonna be reviewing the uh, Surecom SR328 duplex repeater controller. Uh, I'm not going to get into this too much. Um, it's got an internal battery built into it. It's got a, an A and a B input. Uh, B is your R, uh, your TX, A is your RX, uh, an on off power switch, some LEDs on the front, a little charge indicator on there. And um, this unit, one of, one of the things I noticed with this unit uh, by going through the manual is it does have a DTMF control uh, where you can remotely turn this unit on on and off or at least kind of put it into standby or work mode as they call it uh, so you can do that from one of your uh, handhelds that you're using out in the field uh, really cool little controller actually it's got an internal battery on it so um, if you wanted to throw this into um, you know like a pelican case or a little little case of some sort uh, throw it up on some solar panels you know the, the theory behind this one is uh, pretty cool um, but uh, let's uh, let's plug it in I already have all my frequencies preset uh, we have the red uh, handheld unit set up for TX, the camo unit set up for RX, and then the two uh, uh, black uh, units are set up with um, with the corresponding frequencies with, I believe it's a 5 megahertz offset. So nothing crazy. We are transmitting on UHF. Um, and um, and uh, I've already put out a call sign, so there's no need to do that, and I don't need anybody uh, correcting me on that in the comments, please. Okay. So let's uh, plug them in real quick. Uh, so TX goes into B, RX goes into A. Um, TX does not, uh, you can actually have the volume all the way down. I'm gonna turn off my box from the last video uh, down to off. Um, again, the volume control on the RX unit, you don't wanna have it cranked all the way to the top. You're, you're gonna get some noise. So all the way up and then down about 25%. You can fine tune that if you want. Uh, before we get into, uh, well, let's just show you how that, that it works. Uh, I mean, it, it does work. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And off to the other unit. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. If you didn't hear that, I'll crank up the volume a little bit. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Uh, so it works uh, works quite well um, in, in keying uh, the RX unit over. It, it does a very good job of keying over the receiving transmission to the uh, transmitting uh, uh, unit. Um, all the Roger beeps are enabled, so you're going to hear a double beep, a uh, double Roger beep, uh, and that's fine, and it, it, it's pretty neat. Uh, problem is, um, uh, again, with uh, either one of the, either of these units uh, in simplex mode, I'm getting approximately eight kilometers, about five miles separation distance uh, through wooded, wooded area, wooded flat ground, you know, from uh, from the front porch of my house to a, a hill that's about eight kilometers away. I parked up there and I was able to transmit to a friend. No issues. Uh, so simplex mode, the units work great independently. Unfortunately, uh, with the Surecom 328, um, I wasn't really able to get more than um, a kilometer. And um, uh, so I, I experimented, of course, a little bit. And uh, that's kind of the beauty of doing ham radio is that we get to do lots of different types of experiments. But um, I just want to show you guys the uh, installation manual here. And uh, maybe you guys get a good look at that. And I'll try to hold it still so you can pause the video and uh, take a look at the uh, instructions here as best as, uh, as, best as, as best as I can show you. Um, it's written in uh, definitely Chinglish, very uh, interesting Chinglish, and you just have to get over uh, how, you know, the, the Chinese, uh, 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 their grammar uh, differs from ours, and it, it does make sense, it does make sense, but you do have to fight with that a little bit. So, if you, want, you guys want to pause the video, and sorry, a little bit of wind here, but it'll give you an idea of uh, what uh, the literature contains. 
and I'll flip it over to the other side here. And there's some more instructions, some accessories, some troubleshooting, uh, DTMF codes and what their respectful functions are. Uh, there's only as far as I know, and from my experiences, uh, there's really only about five DTMF functions that actually do anything. Uh, the rest of them are just blanks. They, they, there's no option. Um, you can uh, enable standby mode, disable uh, uh, standby mode or disable sleep mode, they call it now. Uh, you can set up a password, uh, change your password and adjust the squelch level. And I, I don't think I don't I'm not sure if that really works uh, very well. I played around with the squelch settings and eh, I don't know. Uh, but basically the Shurcom SR328 is basically a keying device. Instead of using the crossover cable and enabling Vox mode on one of the, on your transmission unit, uh, you do not need to enable Vox mode on either one of these handhelds and it simply keys over the uh, signal. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, a very, very neat concept. Um, as the installation manual uh, shows um, with in duplex mode, um, you have an RX unit, a TX unit, and then you can either install a duplexer, which of course in this situation we don't have, or without a duplexer, uh, the manufacturer is recommending that you have a one to five meter uh, separation. So, you know, three feet to about uh, 15, 16 feet for our American viewers. Um, so, and that's the, um, and, and obviously, as you can tell from the setup here, uh, we don't have, we, we, we barely have one meter separation with the provided cables that we have. So, um, I, I did experiment with this, uh, by separating them as much as I could. And also by, um, extending the antenna with this, uh, Nagoya UT, uh, UT72 mag mount antenna uh, that, that gave me about a, a four or five meter separation between the two units um, and and still even with that separation between the IRX and the TX units of about, about, of about four meters five meters uh, max range uh, about a kilometer that's it uh, but it does work it's it's, it's neat in that respect um, unfortunately um, I, I can't really recommend this product. Um, I mean, maybe if you have a duplexer kicking around and you want to play around with it, I'm sure it would be a good little, um, a good little, uh, controller to, uh, relay the two signals over. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, going from eight kilometers in, in simplex mode to about a kilometer and just having a hard time with it. Plus, um, you know, the added, um, the added, uh, 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 uh fail point of, of, of the unit itself. If it were to fail or get wet or something, then, you know, you're kind of out of luck there again. Uh, that's not really a big problem because, uh, I'm not going to use it plain and simple. So unfortunately this unit is, uh, it's going back to this, uh, to, to where I bought it from, from Amazon. Um, you know, it wasn't that expensive. It was like 75 bucks taxes in delivered, but that's 75 bucks and I'm going to have to ask for that back. So unfortunate. Uh, anyways, next uh, video is going to be the Surecom SR uh, 628, um, which is a, um, uh, a different version. So, uh, stay tuned for part three. Thank you.